You have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. Didn't mean to make a big deal. I love Rock, Rock Springs, but that's the kind of, we just had it someone said they can't find plumbers. <laughs> and that's a lot of the, you know, a lot of the reasons the people say that, you know, why what's standing in their success. Well, I don't live in the big city, so I don't have access to a lot of customers or a lot of plumbers and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And so what, what say you to oh, that? So why. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What say you, Lance? What, what, what say you, brother? We're at 30,000. So I think that that's a uh, hogwash. <laughs> that's, okay. that's right. I, I told you, I told you to be blunt. <laughs> 30,000 30, people in your area, right? In, in Rock Springs with uh, Rock Springs and Green River combined, it's about 45,000. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it's, so, it's small number, sure, but we can do it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So what, so, so look, I wanted to have you on. Thanks for taking the time to be on, Lance. And, um, and really oh. what I, I love about, um, about your story is um and i'll be transparent here lance, lance is, is one of my my private clients and so he's been you know kind of been around the mdp stuff for just a little bit here mm -hmm. but starting out it was basically you know you you in a truck and doing some stuff here and now you really i mean you're a whole not you know pushing what a year later or whatever you're a whole nother company right and uh yeah right? completely different completely different uh hey john hey uh we started out with like one truck. Um, I had a, I call him a half employee. He wasn't even really an employee at that time. I <laughs> uh, just didn't know what he was doing, and I was just basically trying to do the best I could with half of a guy. And uh, now we've got two two employees strong. Um, we've completely changed our look, our logo, our truck, our everything. Mm -hmm. We our mindset, everything's changed. So, so what was yeah. so when you started? I'm going to ask you that same kind of question, if you mind sharing. You've had a time to listen. You heard me throw the question sure. out there. So I'm probably, you probably had stuff run through your head and your mind. Mm -hmm. you yeah. know, what, what was standing in your way a year ago, if it asked you a year ago or so, mm, what good. would have been your answer? What was standing in the way of your success? It was myself. Mm. That, was, that was my biggest deal. Was my, in my mind, I, I was a good plumber but I didn't know the business of plumbing, like you, you always say. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mindset, I always had that mindset that I can't charge more than this. I can't do this because of where I'm at. And so I had to revert, I had to change that mindset. And and now it's funny because I'll, I'll see other guys talking and I'm like, dude, they're in their own head. <laughs> I can see it when they're in their own head because I was there. I know it's so, and you know, we've, you know, we've talked about that, you know, when we start out, we do got to get into the, the head trash and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, a lot of us guys, when we start out, we, we have all these, and I, you know, I kind of hit it hard a little bit. I call them excuses, you know, well, mm -hmm. you know, my, my area is different. You know, that's, that's one of the things my, my area is different. Yeah. Um, we just aren't a big, that's why I love having, another reason I love having you on here is one of the things is, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not from a, in a big city. Well, of course, the big city guys can do it because there's all mm -hmm. kinds of customers and all kinds of plumbers and all kinds of choices. Right. You know, but it's different where I live. You know, and that, that's one, one of the excuses there. And that's all up here, you know. So how, how did you yeah. deal with that? How, mm -hmm. you know, I know it's now you have the confidence, but when you started that mindset, what, what helped you mm -hmm. or what, um, when did you know that shifting like that, that, that's, that was right? Right. Does that make sense what I'm asking? You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, I did what you told me to do <laughs> and I changed my, <laughs> my pricing. I changed, uh, charging a service service fee. I started doing that and I thought I'd lose a ton of customers and really, uh, the ones I lost were the ones I didn't really need. <laughs> um, they were the ones that wouldn't pay their bill or I would have to fight for money down the road. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. and the ones that, were my good customers, they think I was charging, they were gonna have me no matter what. And I mean, it, it, it's funny how that works, but it's, it does. It does work, yeah. and, and that's I think that's the stumbling yeah. block most people, most of our clients or people in the Success Academy have thinking, man, there's no way I can charge, charge this once they kind of go through the process. But then 
you do and you're like, huh, well, what do you know? I'm actually making money. Yeah. With fewer customers. Yeah. Good money. Good money. Good money. Right. Right.